Well, a Franklin man is in disbelief after recovering his stolen semi-tractor and trailer hours after it went missing. As the now's Mike Pelton shows us, facing long odds, uh, this man took advantage when the suspected thief, uh, he uh, slipped up big time. And that man tracked down his stolen semi during a 10 mile chase that ended in this remote field here in Shelby County. But it's how he spotted it in the first place that you could call good fortune or just dumb luck. Uh, he had $5,000 worth of grain plus the price of the trailer and my semi. In retrospect, Josh Mitten says it wasn't a good idea to leave the keys to his semi similar to this one in the vehicle's flip down visor. The last known time it was seen was 7:45, and I showed up at our field at 8:15. The theft taking place Tuesday morning at the family farm just south of Franklin. Later Tuesday at his home about five miles away, Josh couldn't believe his eyes. So the semi was heading south on Hurricane Road. And he knew instantly it was his based on the hydraulic tank on the back. It's, it's a custom tank that we built here at our shop. Josh then jumped into his truck. It's straight up NASCAR just flying. For 10 miles, he followed in close pursuit. I was on the phone with 911 the whole entire time, you know, giving them step by step, turn by turn. The suspect eventually ditched the semi in Shelby County, and authorities arrested William McClintock and a woman he was with after using canines to corner the two in a tree line. One in a million. I mean, what are the chances that he's going to drive right past me? Authorities also recovered the trailer. Josh says his newfound luck is leading him to change some old habits. Absolutely. All keys will be pulled out. There, this is, uh, you know, it just shows you that you can't trust anyone. And authorities arrested both McClintock and the woman he was with for resisting law enforcement. McClintock was also arrested for theft and on a warrant out of Bartholomew County in Shelby County this afternoon. For the Now Indy, Mike Pelton, RTV6.